Hi everyone! And to continue with our little DIY art journal, um, in previous video we have done the signatures. I showed you how to make those. It didn't take us long. Uh, so in this video we're going to continue working on the cover and I have an idea. So for cover I will be using this natural craft um, double-sided natural craft cardstock from Sentimentally Yours and it's great that it's double-sided because we're going to see both sides of it. So for the cover we will need two sheets of A4 and I forgot to show you when we've done the signature in last video how nice and flat your pages sit. As you can see they're nice and flat and it's going to be um, really nice to work on them with these pages. No matter where you open they all sit flat. You see? And that's why you don't want to put too many sheets together. Okay. So I thought I'm just going to show you that quickly before we start on our cover. And I'm going to put this aside. And I'm not cutting anything. Um, so your A4 sheet is eight and a quarter inches high. Well, I say high because we're working in this orientation. And what I thought is it's going to be nice. Put this one aside for now. If we're going to have little lip from the bottom and top to protect our art journals. So now I am going to join these two pieces together. And for that, I will be using my double sided tape. And I will just run it. Let's have a look. We want this one. It is double sided, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to run this double sided tape right on the edge of one of our cardstock sheets. and it will hold them together burnish it don't use your nails to do this to take the backing off because you will damage your nails with time and now we are going to join it together and so you can see okay that is looking good and burnish it again burnish 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 Now we've got this long piece we're going to be working with. And now you want to decide which side is going to be your outside. And I think this would be better on outside. However, they almost look the same. But you will see, if you're going to make this this way, you will see there is a slight, very slight difference. But it's almost invisible from this side. Okay, so this is going to be our inside. Now, back to our signatures. Our signature is 
five and three quarter inches wide. So what I've been thinking, to be on the safe side, uh, I'm gonna make the front and back six and quarter inches. So that would give us half inch to play with. And this way we're gonna have a little bit from this side as well, which is gonna protect our art journal pages. So I will score this piece at six and one quarter inches. Then for spine, I will score it as well. And what I've done, I did put all these three signatures together and I kind of measured it like so and at the moment it's one inch so what i've done they're about one inch thick so you have to think that after you've done some artwork in, on these pages um they more likely gonna have alligator mouths um and all that good stuff so to be on the safe side, I thought we're going to make a spine at one and three quarter inches. So what that gives us, we're going to score at six and one quarter inches. Then we need one and three quarter inches for our spine and then we need another six and qu one quarter inches for our back so uh, we're scoring at six and a quarter uh, that gives us eight and then for the back page it's gonna give us 14 of which we don't have 14 anyway we're gonna score from 8 inch mark so let's do that let's do that first and I will put it aside so you can see now you're gonna need your scoreboard and let me just tidy up a little bit here put this one away so we said our first score line is going to be at six and one quarter inches and don't score it yet because you have to fold it on the bumpy side so this is our inside of the cover and if we're gonna score from inside it's gonna give us a bump on outside so flip it over and let me write it down for you inside and this is our outside so to score this large piece and you can write it and you can erase it after uh, you decide where is your inside where is your outside because it's it does look a little bit better on one side than it does on the other side and we're gonna score it from outside so you need outside to be facing you when you do the scoring bit so we're scoring six and one quarter we are scoring eight did we say eight one and three quarter one yep we said eight and then because my scoreboard is not long enough i'm just gonna position it let's say on four it doesn't really matter okay this was our eight inch score line 
And next we need another six and one quarter, which is gonna give us ten and one quarter. Okay. And this is our scoring done. And now we can flip it back to inside. And you can see, because you have to fold on bumpy side always. Otherwise, your cardstock is going to crack more likely. So if you can, always fold on this bumpy side. So now we are in inside. And I'm not going to cut the rest yet. We're gonna fold it, fold and burnish, fold and burnish. And we want to fold this one as well. Okay. And this is going to be our art journal cover. Now, I wanted to make a little flap going over the front page. So, for that, because our spine is one and three quarter inches, I thought, so you bear in mind, one and three quarter inches for the spine, and then you want the flap. Let's measure the flap. I was thinking for flap to go over three and a half, three, either three and a half inches or three inches. I think three inches will be enough. So we have to keep in mind one and three quarters was our spine and we want three quarter uh, three three inch flap however you can make <clears throat> as wide or as small as you like this flap or you can just leave it and do it without the flap at all and um, so three and one and three quarter inches would give me four and three quarter inches. Let's go four and three quarter. Let's go five inches to be on the safe side. So let me just go and cut this bit. At, from this bit, I'm going to measure five inches and I will cut it. Bear with me. Five inches. And cut it. And I will probably score another. That would be easier. I will score another bit from our last score line, the spine bit, one and three quarter inches. So I would go seven and three quarter oh, from, from the wrong side, wrong side. So seven and three quarter inches. Okay, and I will fold this one as well. And burnish and now we have ourselves something what starts to look like a cover and then I will round my corners using um, we are memory keepers corner chomper and I will go for half inch. Okay. 
Oops, these in the card properly for me. Okay. So now we have nice rounded corners. And now we're gonna have a binding system to put these signatures inside. And they sit they sit nicely in here actually. So if you doing exactly the same, like five sheets per signature, um, then I can tell that one and three quarter inch spine is absolutely perfect. So to put these signatures, to attach them to our little cover, we are going to need a hole punch. We are memory keepers again, and I'm sure many of us have those. And now we're going to do some measuring. So what I'm going to do, I will put three eyelets on the top, three eyelets on the bottom, and then we're going to put our cord string in so for that I will need to find the middle and I actually want to go I want to go half inch in for eyelets so this is my half inch up to this bold line and now I want to find center so line it up this bold line with the edge of your cover and three one two three and a bit I will move it a little bit about that much let me just check uh, quarter half three quarters and a bit quarter half three quarters and a bit okay and now i will go to the center and then i will go both sides half inch one side half inch another side this is where we're gonna be setting our eyelets so you can see and then i'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side find your middle and align everything so it's nice and neat and then this is going to be center and we're going half inch up half inch down okay so i hope you can see that we've done top and we've done bottom so I'm, now I'm going to make some holes and I will be using, let me have a look. I will be using some of these eyelets and I haven't decided which color to go with yet. We're going to decide this in a minute. So I have to make sure it's 3 16th, 3 16th this side, punch holes on this side. Now I'm just going to punch these holes. So 
So this three on the bottom are done. Now we're gonna go three on the top. And I have to get rid of this little bit because I can't see. I can't see through otherwise. So make sure it's all centered. And our last hole. Okay. Just gonna clean this one. Okay. Now we can set our eyelids. And I'm thinking because obviously we have craft color. We need something, I don't know, I quite like this brown. I like this color. However, our string is going to be black. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to go with this, this color here. And I'm going to need six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one before it escapes. I will put it all back and now we're gonna set eyelets so this is our base and I can't remember how to do that now I haven't used it for a while okay so we want nice nice side on the outside and this is our inside so we're gonna flip it over and it set yeah one is set so we're gonna do this to all six of our eyelids and obviously you can do cover uh, whichever color you like if you like bright colors you can go with bright colors this one is not properly set Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that looks good on that side. And another three. So I will definitely be doing something to discover something nice. I'm not gonna leave it just craft. Okay, our last eyelet. Just have to make sure base is on the right side. Okay, so that's our eyelets are set. And now it starts to look more like a cover, proper cover. So now we need string. And I can't remember how they measure one two three four I think they measure five and a half you know what I'm gonna measure six and I will cut it and we will see what will happen because obviously I have a lot of it so we want to start from the middle from inside on the middle take it through and you want to leave this one hanging because this is where we're gonna tie it together after when we've done it then next step you're going top right through bottom right taking it through then we go bottom middle bottom
the middle. Where is it? Yep. Take it through again. Then we're going back to the middle top. Okay. Then we're going top left. Now we're going bottom left. And we're going back in middle bottom one. And yes, I did cut a little bit too much. So now you want to tighten them. But again, you don't want them to be too tight. Otherwise, it's gonna make your cover go wonky. Okay. So again, and I will cut this bit away. So you want it to be tight, but not too tight. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and try to put our signature through. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to tie a knot double knot and i will tie it a little bit more from this side this side yep so double knot and now we're gonna put our signatures in And this one is sentimentally yours watercolor card. It's going on the first one. So you just put it through. Okay. Open it up. And take it and put it through. And our third one, open it up to the middle and put it through. And I will probably do a closure over here as well. Let's think. Yes, we need a closure for in the front as well. So look, I do like this cover. And then uh, all your art journals. And then you just, when you work with it, you just take it out, do your work, enjoy yourself. And when you're finished, you put it back in. And it's stored all nicely and nothing is gonna get damaged so let's do for the front for this flap closure as well I'm thinking another string closure using these that would be nice but I want to maybe dangle something from it so let me think i'm gonna set two eyelets on this side on the flap so let's find the middle again so this is gonna be and i want to go how much in do i want to go yeah i think this should be okay it's three quarters in or maybe a quarter no three quarters 
Let's do three quarters. Let's have a look. This was a quarter in. Yeah, quarter in. So I'm gonna line my bold line, which is quarter inch, and then our height of our cover is eight and a quarter inches. So it's easy to find the middle. It should be four and one eight on each side. And now I'm just aligning this bold line, which is gonna give us quarter inch in. And I want to do two eyelets. Or shall I do one? Nah, let's do one. Or shall we do two eyelets? No, let's do one eyelet, okay. So in the middle. And let's pop another eyelet in. Then we're going to be able to close our journal. I will be using the same one. Okay. And pop it in. What is our base? Base should be on the bottom. And before I set it, no. It's okay, it's so many ideas in my head going around at one time, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So now I'm gonna cut some of this string. This eyelet is probably going to be too big because this is not. Oh, no, we're going to be okay. So measure it. And bear in mind, it's going to get bigger. That's why I wanted the second eyelet to dangle some things. Hmm, I don't know. So you want it a bit tight-ish? Tight-ish? About there. And now I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to try to make a knot. on this side and I think because this cord is not thick enough I think it's gonna go through this eyelet so let's have a look oh okay that's not too bad Oh, no, it, it actually holds. Yeah, it actually holds. And I need to tighten up a bit more. Let's have a look. Let's do it again. So I want to tighten it a bit more. Okay, I like that. That is perfect. So I will cut it now. And there it is. Our cover for our art journals. And I will be doing something to this cover. I'm not going to leave it like that. So watch the space. Watch the space people. And there we are. <laughs> I really like it. I have to say, I really like it. And this is our set of 
our art journals and it's perfect to use whatever you have in a stash in your art journal and this is what I'm gonna be doing and there you go our cover for our journals thank you so much for watching until next time like and subscribe and have a lovely crafty day bye